everyone and welcome back to Sock Season. This is week two, October 8th through 14th, 2023. I'm Carol, host of A Stitch in Time podcast and I can be found on Ravelry as Knits and Pearls. This week, uh, we're going to take a look at the six patterns from the second Handmade Sock Society collection by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade, which was released in 2019. And then we'll finish up with a more recently knit autumn themed sock. I will provide links to my Ravelry project pages for all of the socks that I show you. And I'll also include links to the blog and to the A Stitch in Time podcast Ravelry group where you can find both the video and show notes. So the second uh, collection took us on a trip along the Cornish coast and we began in a shell cottage with the shell cottage socks. I knit these from some flock fiber hoarfrost fingering, which is their metallic base, and this is the tea room colorway. So once again, we see a one by one twisted rib cuff, and then this lovely uh, textured pattern that runs down the entire sock. We have an eye of, part, eye of partridge heel, and then I did my usual rounded toe. I just love the way these socks uh, catch the light, catch the sparkle in the right light. Um, and I just think the colors are very reminiscent of shells, which is why I chose this yarn. So once again, um, while it's great to see a sock on a sock blocker, it's also good to see it on a real live human foot. So I'll provide a little footage here of me modeling these socks for you. <music> from the future re-recording this segment because of technical difficulties. Next we're off to the shop where we pick up some fish for dinner and the shopkeeper tucks in a little bit of samphire for us to enjoy alongside it. Uh, these are the samphire socks. I did not know what samphire was until I knit them but it is a plant that grows close to salt water and can be uh, steamed and eaten, I guess, as a vegetable. So I knit these socks from uh, Beyond Basic Knits Prima Superwash Sock in the Kendall colorway. You can see they have a one by one twisted rib, a really fun swirly lace pattern on the front, and then this uh, broken rib pattern down the back traditional heel flap and gusset, and of course my rounded toe. So why don't I show you how they look on my feet? time for a stroll by the sea with the cliff walk socks. As you can see these socks also feature a one by one twisted rib cuff and this lovely lace pattern that runs along the entire sock. Uh, they are knit from Dream in Color Smooshy with cashmere with a very appropriately named colorway, Slippery Trail. Let's hope that uh, I don't slip while wearing them and end up in the ocean. <laughs> Once again, here's a little video of me modeling these for you. Thank you. 
now it's time to duck into a tea room and enjoy a cream tea. Uh, these are the Cornish Cream Tea Socks Knit from Black Cat Custom Yarn Luxury Sock in the Pixie Dust colorway. Uh, this is a skein that I intentionally picked up for these socks. I wanted something soft and pastel and definitely achieved that with this yarn. So as you can see, there is a lovely lace and texture pattern that runs all along the front of the sock. Features a traditional heel flap and gusset, and this time we have a two by two ribbed cuff. Uh, once again, this yarn has some cashmere in it, so they're gonna be nice and soft to wear. Um, here you go, here's a look at them on me. It's back to the sea for some sailing lessons in the sailing school socks. Uh, once again, uh, one by one twisted rib cuff and this lovely textured pattern that runs up the side of each sock. These are knit from Tannis Fiber Arts Blue Label in the shadow colorway. Bring that in closer so you can see that lovely pattern has a traditional heel flap and gusset and my usual rounded toe. So why don't I show them off for you? taking our sailing lessons, we spot some whales. These are the dorsal socks, which feature a textured pattern that runs up the back of each leg that looks like a whale's tail or fluke. I knit these from Ocean Wind Knits Sock in the Bite colorway, spelled B-I-G-H-T. Here in British Columbia, there is a small cove called Robson's Bite, where the orcas or killer whales come up and rub themselves on the uh, pebbly beach. And so I thought it would be the perfect match for this pair of socks. Um, as you can see, once again, a one by one twisted rib cuff. And I think this variegated tonal yarn uh, shows off the pattern nicely, but also makes for an interesting sock and has a traditional heel flap and gusset. So uh, once again, I will model these for you. I'll be closing out the week by wearing this pair of Cozy Autumn socks by This Handmade Life. I knit these socks earlier this year in the spring using uh, Sweet Fiber Super Sweet Sock in the Autumn Day colorway. And I think this wavy, lacy pattern perfectly sets off the subtle tones of gold and brown and orange. So once again, I'll give you a little uh, model shot here. it for week two of sock season. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see some more knitting content, be sure to check out my regular podcast, A Stitch in Time, which airs weekly to bi-weekly, depending on uh, how I can fit it into my schedule. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye!